everyone. I'm Alex, and I'm here at the Museum of Natural History in Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is We Wild Ones on the Web. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it. Caw like a crow, caw, caw. If you love nature and you know it, caw like a crow, caw, caw. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, caw like a crow, caw, caw. If you love nature and you know it. Howl like a coyote, ooh. If you love nature and you know it, howl like a coyote, ooh. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, howl like a coyote, ooh. If you love nature and you know it, yip like a fox, yip, yip. If you love nature and you know it, yip like a fox, yip, yip. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, yip like a fox, yip, yip. Great job, we wild ones. Welcome back, we wild ones. Did you guess what today's special topic is? Today's special topic has to do with the marks that we leave behind in nature. Do you notice what you leave behind when you walk through the snow or mud? That's right, we leave behind tracks. When we walk on our feet, we can see our shoe prints. Can you see my shoe print? Have you ever looked at your shoe prints? They're pretty neat, aren't they? Animals walk on their feet and leave behind marks in nature too. We call them tracks. Different animals leave different types of tracks. Some animals walk on all four legs. Some animals have different types of feet. Let's look at a couple here. This is a bear track. Bears walk on the pads of their feet, just like the pads of our hands. We can see their toes. Let's count how many toes bears have. One, two, three, four, five. How many toes do you have? That's right, you have five toes too. Maybe you've seen a similar track that you've left behind at the beach in the sand. Bears are a little bit different though. We can see their claws too. They leave behind marks from their claws. They're kind of like fingernails. Pretty neat, huh? This is a very big track, isn't it? This is a moose track. Moose have a special type of foot called a hoof with two toes, which are very long. Pretty different from our tracks, aren't they? Now it's time for us to listen to a special story and learn more about tracks and how animals leave them behind. The story is called The Little Lost Snake by Kayla Rudderham. The Little Lost Snake by Kayla Rudderham. Once upon a time, in a forest just outside the city, was a snake. He was small for his size, but had many siblings and friends. Most mornings, Snake would go out by himself looking for the perfect place to bask in the sun. One day, he slithered his way into a place he didn't know. Snake started to feel scared and wanted to be back in his den with his friends. Snake was good at retracing his steps, but got confused with so many tracks on the ground. Feeling helpless, Snake decided to follow one set of them. He slithered and slithered until the tracks stopped at the tree trunk. Snake heard a noise from above and exclaimed, Who's there? Caw, caw, it's me, Crow. Who's asking? Crow responded. I'm a little lost snake trying to get back home. I followed a set of tracks to this tree. If those tracks you followed look like a slingshot or a fork, you followed my tracks. Here's a hint, kid. If it looks like this, it's probably a bird. Really? I guess you would know. Thank you for your help, Crow. I think I can find my way now. I bet these tracks over here will lead me back home. So Snake set off, following what he thought were snake tracks. He slithered past trees of all different sizes. He slithered past the tall grass. He was about to slither right by a hole in the ground when he heard a noise. 
Sticking his head down in the hole, he said, Hello, who's there? With no answer to his call, Snake slithered a little further into the hole. Ready to yell this time, Snake took a big breath. <gasps> Excuse yourself, what are you doing in my home? You don't live here, Fox said, startled. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think anyone was here and thought I could rest for a minute. I'm a little lost snake trying to get back home and followed a set of tracks to this hole. The only tracks that lead here are mine. I'm a mammal, or a fox to be exact. Animals with paws make tracks that have a pad with four or five toes. You can rest in my den for a little while, but you better be careful. Not all animals are as nice as I am. Thanks, Fox. I've been slithering around all day. I need to sit in a safe place for a bit. <sighs> After a short nap in Fox's den, Snake thanked Fox for his help and went on his way again. I think I know what tracks to avoid now. Following a third set of tracks from Fox's den, Snake stopped along the edge of a lake where the tracks disappeared. In the distance, Snake could see what looked like a mountain moving in the water. He decided to swim and climb the mountain to check if he could see more tracks from higher up. As he got closer, he noticed that the mountain was covered in fur. Excuse me, Mr. Mountain? Pardon me, you think I'm a mountain and a mister? Oh dear, oh no, 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 I'm a moose. Why are you out here in the water? Don't moose live in the forest? I was following some tracks to get back to my home. Yes, dear, I do live in the forest, but sometimes I like to dive in lakes for plants to eat. I believe you were following my tracks into the water. Moose are mammals, but we don't have paws. We have hooves that have two sides and four toes. Sometimes our tracks look like hearts. Isn't that lovely? Mm, yes, very lovely. Um, Moose, do you happen to know what reptile tracks look like? Well, yes, of course, darling. Moose tracks are much larger than reptile tracks because we are the largest of the deer family, a regal life. Reptile tracks look kind of like two feet with a line in the middle. I believe I saw a set of reptile tracks near the river this morning. By the river? That's near my home. Thanks for your help, Moose. I think I found the right tracks to get back to my friends. And so he set off again, slithering his way back to the shore of the lake into the forest where the river flowed. I'm so excited, I'm almost home. These must be the tracks I made earlier, Snake said, passing a large rock and tall grass. The ground under the snake started to feel wet and soon he was at the river's edge. With no sign of other snakes, he began to feel discouraged. Snake sighed as a tear fell from his eye. He was cold, hungry, and alone, or so he thought. Just then, bubbles began to form on the water's surface and a face appeared. Sunny boy, what's the matter with you? I'm a little lost snake trying to get back home. Moose told me to follow the reptile tracks and they led me here, but you don't look like a snake. Well, Sunny, I hate to break it to you. You did find reptile tracks here, but they're turtle tracks. Snake sobs. I'll never make it back home. I'll never see Stanley or Sally or Greg again. Now, now, it'll be all right. Have you ever seen snake tracks? They're a lot different than any other tracks made by animals and tough to spot. I can see why you've been having trouble. What makes them so different? Well, you see, snakes don't have feet or legs, so the only track they leave behind are these squiggly lines. If you would stop crying, I would tell you that there is a snake den just around the bend. If you follow these lines in the dirt, you'll make your way home. Snake turned to look where Turtle had pointed, excited to finally be with his friends again. But when Snake turned around to thank Turtle, he was gone. Snake slithered as fast as he could and reached his friends just as the sun was going down. Happy to be home safely, Snake settled in amongst Sally, Stanley, and Greg. As he was drifting off to sleep, he whispered, Thank you, turtle, wherever you are. The end. Highly wild ones, my name is Michelle, 
and today we're going to be naturalists and we're going to look for tracks in the snow. First, we need our binoculars. There we go, it's time to start looking for tracks. Do you see any tracks, we wild ones? You do? Where do you see tracks? There they are, good job. These tracks belong to the snowshoe hare. And the snowshoe hare gets its name because it's one, two, three, four little feet act as snowshoes that keep it from falling through the snow. And we can see we have one, two, three, four tracks that match our snowshoe hair. Now snowshoes for people look like this. Good job, we wild ones. Hi, we wild ones. Aaron here again. How's your scavenger hunt going? Looks like I found some more tracks from a black bear. Do you have a black bear on your list? Hi, we wild ones. It's Aaron here at Shubenacony Wildlife Park. I hear you're doing a scavenger hunt and you might be looking for some white tailed deer tracks. Look what I found. You can find white tailed deer tracks here at Shubenacony Wildlife Park or at any woods near you. Hi, we wild ones. It's Bronwyn with the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park and we're in the Wetland Center. Today we're going to do a craft on tracks. Have you enjoyed learning about tracks so far? Me too. So we have a few track crafts that we're going to do today. The first one, you're going to need some paper. It can be any color that you want. You're going to need a sponge scissors, and glue, a paper plate, or something you can put paint on, and some washable paint. Today I've chosen brown because it's one of my favorite colors. So to start, we're going to draw out what a track might look like uh, and on a sponge. So today I've chosen a track for our deer. So a deer has two toes. A deer has something called a hoof, and a deer has four feet. So I'm gonna take my scissors. You should have your adult help you with this part. And I'm just going to cut along the outline. And don't worry, we wild ones, this does not have to be perfect. That's the fun part when you do crafts, is that they don't have to be perfect. So we're just gonna cut until we have one part of our hoof cut out. Now I'm going to cut out the second part. It's okay for your pieces of sponge to go everywhere. We can clean those up later. Making mess is part of the fun of crafts, isn't it, we wild ones? Okay, so now I have my two hooves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little stamp. So I'm gonna take my glue, I put some glue on my sponge, and I'm going to attach it to a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. So now I have a hoof stamp for a deer. So once this dries, we can put paint on this and we'll use it to stamp footprints. We'll put that to the side for now so that can dry. So the next craft we're going to do involves us getting a little bit messy. So let's make sure that your sleeves are rolled up nice past your elbows. I'm going to take some of our paint, I'm going to put it onto our plate we're going to make some bear tracks using our hands. So you can use finger paint as well if you want to, but we're using washable paint for today. So what I'm gonna do is take a paintbrush, but you can just dip your hands right in if you want to. And I'm actually going to paint all of my hand. 
So the fun thing about bears is that bears' paws look an awful lot like human hands when you look at their tracks that they make. They have five fingers as well as we do. So then I'm going to smoosh my hand onto my construction paper. When I lift it off, I have this kind of mark. I'm going to take a smaller paintbrush and I'm going to paint in my bear claws because bear have claws but humans have fingernails. So now I have my bear claw and my bear footprint. So you can make as many of these all over the page as you want to. These are some quick fun little crafts that we hope you enjoy we wild ones. See you next time. Well, we wild ones, this is the part of the program where it's time for us to say goodbye. Do you remember what our special topic was today? That's right, it was tracks. We learned all about tracks and the marks we and animals leave behind in nature. We listened to a special story called The Little Lost Snake. We did a scavenger hunt and found animal tracks here at the museum and with our friends at the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park. After that, we made a craft. If you'd like to see more We Wild Ones videos, check out our YouTube channel or visit our website at museum.novascotia.ca. See you next time, We Wild Ones. Music